When I first started teaching sign language, my focus was all on teaching people to communicate with the deaf and hard of hearing community. I started to see that there was a whole other community of people that could benefit from signing. I started working with a family and they have a young boy named Sam and he has autism. And when I started working with their family, they were so limited on their ability to communicate with him. He had to use this little computer and in, in, in each word, he had to find the key, he, or if he wanted to spell a word out, he had to find each individual letter and, and communication was slow and frustrating. And he had so much on his mind, so much he wanted to say. What was the initial thing that made you think, let's do this, this could be good for our family? It's very helpful for him to communicate. He becomes a lot less frustrated when he can communicate with sign. All of you guys have learned together. Correct. And other people, in your, like caregivers, and have also started learning some signs as well. Yes, sure. our right. family. Mm -hmm. Have you seen his ability to participate and, and communicate with you improve? Significantly less frustration on his part and our part, yes. He can communicate what he wants without um, getting agitated. And then he can get frustrated when he's told no, so instead. <laughs> he can tell you what's on his mind now, right? right. So maybe sometimes you're wishing he didn't know something. <laughs> his sense of humor has really started to develop with his uh, learning sign. For me, just to be able to see him be able to crack jokes, to express his sense of humor. He's much more motivated to use sign than he is his computer. He likes to learn new sign, and he's definitely faster at learning it than we are. And when they incorporated sign language, his ability to communicate jumped two grade levels. He's seen the same speech therapist for the last 10 years. He demonstrated a little over a two year improvement in his last assessment and expressively almost a year improvement, which is a, a huge gain for him. I, I really believe, and, and so is she, that it's because of his increased um, sign language abilities. So if you hadn't discovered sign language, where do you think his communication abilities and skills would be today? Probably to a first or second grade level. With sign language, it's more automatic, so he's able to say it um, as he's thinking it. Third or fourth grade is, is his skill level now. As his teacher, for me, to see that growth had a huge impact on me and my desire to share that with other families as well. So I appreciate that I've been able to be part of that journey with you guys. It's been amazing. What are your <laughs> favorite things to do? <laughs> Yep. What was the aha moment when you realized this is this is what we need to do. This is what is this is going to be our key to being able to communicate with our son and know what he what's going on in his head. I think you know having a, kid, a kiddo that's nonverbal, you always want to hear "I love you." And so the first time Sam said "I love you," that was a big deal. Um, having him sign ball, that was a big deal. Um, having them tell somebody else thank you was a big deal. Those are happy tears. Those aren't sad tears. Those are happy tears. Those are good, good, good things that happen. Yep. Things that make me smile just like you are. Um, and just seeing his personality come out when he tells jokes and when he laughs. Um, when, and uh, the best part about it, the really emotional times, is when he gets something out and he's not frustrated. Um, because it's so hard to know that there's so much inside his head. He has so much to say and he's so smart. And to have a way that he can say those things and express himself is a gift that's, um, it's just hard to explain. It's, it's, um, there's no way to tell you how much we appreciate what you do. And uh, to know that he's not frustrated and that he can communicate and that he has friends. He took two of his friends to yogurt uh, the other day. And I, you know, I wasn't sure he'd ever want to take friends out, but he could communicate with them and they understood him. And uh, those are very emotional <laughs> things and things I really appreciate. <laughs> I remember when you took Layla and Taylor to frozen yogurt. That was fun. I like it when you tell me, I love you, Mom. And when his mother told me that he was able to tell her for the first time through sign language that he loved her, I, I think that's really when it hit me that sign language is not 
being offered to the, some of the people who need it the most. Those of us who have traveled a path with a loved one who has an autism spectrum disorder know that our needs differ from those who have not had this experience. Communicating may seem overwhelming at times. Now, for the first time, a long overdue solution opens a new modality for interaction. Introducing Signing with Autism. Welcome. Join Tara Adams, a professional sign instructor who created this video series specifically to bridge the communication barriers that exist between nonverbal autistic children and the people they interact with every day. Tara teaches words that you will use with your loved one often, known as high frequency words. Time to wake up. She also teaches phrases that up. will enhance you and your child's you daily routine dirty. and help you your child that. communicate in the classroom. Signing with autism will help your child express their thoughts much faster and more naturally and with a lot less frustration. Your child will also gain more confidence and show you feelings that you never knew existed within them. They will also interact more socially with you, their friends and their teachers. You will see their sense of humor unveiled and Maybe even for the first time, your child will be able to look you in the eyes and tell you that they love you. The We Can Sign Signing with Autism series includes three volumes. Volume 1, High Frequency Words and Family Signs. Volume 2, Feeling Signs and Signs Used Around the House. And Volume 3, Food Signs and Classroom Signs. So if you are just discovering this video series for the first time, congratulations! You've just discovered a unique and powerful means of connecting with your child. Reveal an entire world of thoughts locked up inside them. See our website for pricing options and video access so you and your child can start benefiting from the We Can Sign Signing with Autism video series today.